it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning for wedding and event planners. Today's tip is to don't trust the venue contact because you never know what can happen. And in the wedding industry, especially during busy season, I don't know if you notice this, but it's like a revolving door. And for those of us who own our own business and who are well established, we're not going anywhere. We work for the customer and we work for the client. Well, this is a situation that happened to me. I was hired to plan a wedding on a weekend, a holiday weekend at that, 4th of July, but I was not hired to do the welcome party that the groom's family was putting on. I asked a few questions just to make sure that the venue was ready, that they had everything that they needed, they had catering in place, they had hired a private area for people to go upstairs on the eighth floor of this new chic hotel to watch the firework display and the bride sounded like everything was under control and everything was fine so the day after you know saturday the wedding day comes and i asked the bride how was last night did you guys have a blast how was rehearsal dinner how did the fireworks show go and the bridesmaid leaned over and said don't ask don't even bring up last night and i thought to myself oh my gosh what happened i Okay, I, I just didn't ask. And so I went on about the day, no one ever brought it up. I did hear a few things throughout the night, how, oh, tonight is so much better and tonight is so much more organized than last night. And still I had no idea what had happened. So the wedding happens, it goes great. A few weeks goes by. So I received a phone call from the new manager at this swanky hotel who was quite upset because he told me that my client had gone online on multiple bridal websites and blasted this hotel and pretty much threatened me and said, if you don't have your client take this down, we're going to sue her for slander. So you can imagine what type of position I was in. I was the go-between in between the client and the new hotel management. And I still had no idea what had happened. So I called the bride and I asked her, I said, can you please tell me what happened on Friday night at the welcome party, rehearsal dinner, slash 4th of July party, because apparently you went online and said all of these really terrible things, which I don't even know what websites they were on. I, I really didn't have time for that. I just wanted to call her and directly find out what happened. I called the bride to find out exactly what happened so that I could figure out how I could best help. And then she proceeds to tell me that the person that she had been in contact with for a good 14 months planning this event had, had left the hotel a week before her event. And there was a brand new person in, the, in place that had no clue what they were doing. They clearly didn't read the notes. The notes said that the client had purchased and bought out the entire eighth floor of the event which you had to have a code to get up to the eighth floor in order to access this private area. We still have no idea and have no clue how all of the hotel guests started getting the code to go up to the eighth floor. The reason everyone wanted to get up to the eighth floor is it was the only balcony, it was prime real estate for 4th of July weekend, and all these people were up there drinking off of her bar watching the fireworks. And it was so uncontrollable that she didn't know what to do. There was no hotel person there that was helping her. She could have called me. I, I could have helped hopefully in some way, but, but she didn't think of it. And so there were multiple people up there drinking off of her bar and she refused to pay for it. So she told me if the hotel would give her some money back that she would be willing to take some of this stuff down off of the website, but she wasn't taking anything down. They owed her money back and they were in this huge argument for weeks going back and forth. So looking back on it, I wish that I had, had at least confirmed with that venue so that the entire weekend could have been a positive process. And again, even though I wasn't hired to do that rehearsal dinner or that welcome party, I still should have checked to make sure that all the details were shirt up and, and everybody knew what was going on. Because to start off the weekend, a wedding weekend, in such a negative way really put a damper on the entire weekend. So again, looking back, I should have heard security. I should have asked a few questions just to make sure that my bride would have had a perfect weekend. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. 
If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.